Sound Shifter is a sophisticated time compression, expansion, and pitch shifting plugin with a flexible user interface. It is great for squeezing a radio spot into a desired length without pitch changing artifacts. It can also be used to adjust the sustain of recorded instruments or fix a sharp or flat note through pitch shifting and many other creative tasks. Sound Shifter is broken into three tools. Parametric Sound Shifter, which is designed to change the speed and pitch of an audio byte with a fixed ratio. Sound Shifter Pitch Only, which is designed for real-time pitch shifting of any audio signal. Graphic Sound Shifter gives us the power of graphically automating the pitch and time ratio breakpoint style. The parametric and graphic sound shifter are what Waves call offline processors or file based as opposed to real time plugins. This has been also called destructive editing versus real time non destructive editing. This is due to the fact that the time scaling is impossible as a real time effect. The pitch only instance of sound shifter is the only real time version and is used to perform real time pitch shifting during a mix. It can also be used to create doubles and octaves or harmonies for lead and backing vocal tracks, as well as fix the overall pitch of a track that is consistently sharp or flat in comparison with the accompanying tracks. The SoundShifter plug-in algorithm is a very high quality processor that is fairly CPU intensive. Be careful how many instances that you use at once. In some cases, choosing file-based processing will be more beneficial to free up DSP allocation. In fact, it even flexes its processing might during file-based previewing. When using the parametric and graphic sound shifter, which are both file-based and not real-time plugs, it is best that you select a small looped portion of audio for previewing, and then once the setting is satisfactory, then you can select the full region of audio to be processed with sound shifter. Let's check out the controls for parametric and graphic sound shifter components. As previously suggested, we are using a small portion of audio that is set to loop for previewing. The parametric sound shifter has two main sections with a centrally located global section. The time ratio allows us to adjust the speed up to twice as fast or down to half as fast. The pitch ratio allows us to adjust the frequency ratio up to twice as high or low, which translates to an octave up or an octave down. One of the flexible features of this plugin is the variety of ways to manipulate the speed and pitch of the selected piece of audio. The time ratio section with source and destination columns allow us to enter in time changes with the following formats. Real time or minutes and seconds, tempo or beats per minute, bars and beats, samples, SMPTE, and feet and frames. This allows Sound Shifter to be used for tasks from raising a note one semitone to stretching a sound bite to fit a video using SMPTE or for film using feet and frames. The adjustment is done with the provided fader for freehand settings. Use the source and destination fields to properly scale the time for your selected piece of audio. The pitch ratio gives us the ability to change the pitch of audio without changing the speed. The controls are as follows. At the right, a fader is available for freehand pitch shifting and below it, a field for the numerical ratio. You can also change the pitch by clicking on any of the fields and then typing the new values into them. The exception is the interval button, which steps through the musical scale intervals one step at a time, up or down an octave. You can also adjust this in Hertz with the frequency source and destination fields. You can transpose with the semitones field or type in the particular pitch value in cents where 100 cents equals a semitone. In the middle are the global parameters. The first is SMPTE time formats. When working with video, you may need to use hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. The frame rate can vary from 24 to 30 frames per second for commercial broadcast. Next is the meter control. When working in bars and beats aligned to the proper tempo map, the last important thing for time measurement is the time signature. And this can vary from 4-4 default to less common time signatures like 7-8 and 5-4. This must be set properly to have parameter adjustments truly based on bars, beats, and tempo. Notes: 
When working with bars and beats, make sure to have the tempo set properly first, as this is the basis for all bar and beat data. The mode setting is next. It has four presets that vary the accuracy of the scaled audio. Sync should be selected for material that is time sensitive. It is extremely accurate at lower ratios, but the effect will lose clarity and depth at higher settings. Punch is optimized for percussive events and beat-oriented music. Transient is not quite as transient preserving as punch, but is optimized for plucked instruments like guitar or even piano. Smooth is better for voices and slow attack instruments or chamber ensembles. The last setting is link mode. When using unlinked mode, the time and pitch controls are completely independent. When using pitch link mode, the time and pitch are controlled by the pitch ratio. You cannot edit the time parameters when in pitch link mode. When using time link mode, you cannot edit the pitch parameters. When using strap mode, any adjustments made to pitch or time parameters will affect the other equally. Remember that this is a file-based plugin, and once your previewed processing sounds appropriate, make sure to hit the process button to begin the creation of a new audio file processed with SoundShifter. Let's take a quick look at the graphic sound shifter. Most of the controls are the same with the exception of the graphic automation window. First, select a section of audio to process and then click on the load waveform button. Here you can make time and pitch ratio changes over time using the waveform display as a ruler for reference. You can also double click on the timeline and create breakpoints, which can be used to alter the graphic editor. The X and Y faders allow us to zoom in on the horizontal and vertical axes, and there is a reset zoom button directly beneath them. On the right side of the window, there is a view pull-down that allows us to choose which time unit's format to which we are editing. The choices are real-time, bars and beats, samples, simpty, and feet and frames. As with the parametric sound shifter, we can select the source time, ratio, destination, or output time in these different formats depending on the medium in which we are working. Also explained earlier is the mode selection pull-down of punch, transient, smooth, and sync. We can also use the link mode, also previously explained, in three different modes. Unlinked, time link, and pitch link. Graphic Sound Shifter is quite sophisticated and can be used in a variety of tasks. One example of possible uses is during a remix of a song that is not locked to a tempo map and the drum track tends to speed up and slow down slightly, we could map the changes of a looped drum beat that we are trying to sync to the original performance with the graphic window or using the different source destination formats. Other uses include creating Doppler effects for post-production treatment of flybys or drive-bys. SoundShifter is a very powerful plugin, but we have merely scratched the surface of its creative potential. Make sure to check out the Waves User Guide for more detailed information and additional production options.